Hi, it's Rebecca with Sycamore Lane Realty at Keller Williams. A cute little disclaimer before I get into today's video. So I want to advise you to consult your tax professional who can help you with all your federal or state tax income and tax questions. Because today's video is about some of the less obvious tax breaks you can get and that you can claim as a homeowner. one of the biggest tax benefits you get is being a homeowner and we, we know that there's a lots of different variations so again I'm going to go back to that disclaimer where you um, contact your tax professional. Um, some of the improvements that you make you might not know that those are also a tax deduction so whether it's improvements, maintenance, emergencies or if it is energy efficiency that you've upgraded your windows or solar panels to. So check out the restrictions and what qualifies and make sure that you're able to use those as, as a tax deduction for you. Um, one of the things that we found, and we're getting this research off of CNET.com, um, back in 2022, American homeowners spent an average of $12,000 on maintenance and repair costs. So you want to definitely check that out and make sure that you are accessing the deductions if possible that so goes towards your taxes. Um, before we dive a little bit deeper, there's some other things that you might want to take advantage of or at least check with your accountant or CPA is if you need to file with an itemized tax preparation or if you just need to do the 1040 easy. Now, of course, it varies between state um, and where you're at, so they'll be able to help you with all federal and state forms. Um, some States don't require that you itemize them, even if you have updates, maintenance, repairs, or energy efficiencies. So just, again, make sure that you're checking with your accountant to make sure that you are aware of what all of the benefits are to you that you can take advantage of. Additionally, one of the things that homeowners didn't know that they could use as a deduction is any of the closing costs that you paid when you bought your house. So in 2022, when you closed on your home, if you were able to um, buy down your interest rate or any of the closing costs that you use to get your payment, that is a tax, that's tax deduction. So make sure that you check with your accountant and CPA and make sure that you have a list of all of those lined up for you. If you purchased your home through us and you don't have a copy of your closing disclosure or your settlement statement, let us know and we can get you a copy. If, um, you purchased a home but it wasn't through us you can reach out to your closing department which was the title company or escrow company and they likely will have a copy of that if this was your first year as a homeowner congratulations i'm sure that you're very excited to hear that you happen to have these extra deductions that you can count for your taxes um one of the things that was updated back in 2014 was the amount of property taxes that was a deductible. It used to be that the entire amount back in 2017 and previous, the entire amount of property taxes was deductible. Um, after 2017, that you can only deduct a certain amount. So again, make sure you check with your tax professional on those. Um, additionally, if you are using your home as an office space, which your full-time home, you work from home, if it's a side gig, if you have a designated space, some of that space may be included as a tax deduction. I know that this is a lot of information. There's um, I'm sure many, many more things. In fact, I know there's many more things that I haven't talked about. 
So that's one of the reasons that I said, please check with your accountant or tax professional to make sure that they know what deductions that you're um, qualifying for so that you can get the best tax redu uh, reduction really that you can. Of course, we're always here to help you and point you in the right direction. So if you have any questions, reach out to us. We'll put our information in this video as well, or, or you can contact us anytime at the office. I hope you guys have a great day, and as always, we're here for when you're growing. Hi, back. welcome back to the YouTube channel for Sycamore Lane Realty at Keller Williams. I'm Rebecca Bundy, and I just wanted to say, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell button below if you haven't done so yet, and we'd love to hear from you. So whether you like what we're saying or whether you disagree with what we're saying, please let us know. And if there's anything that comes up that you are not getting answers to that you would like to know about, please make a comment below or request a video and we can put that together for you. And we're happy to help you because we are here for where you're growing next. Sycamore Lane Realty, your hometown living at its best.